Hey guys. Well, we put the totem pole back up. Dan's looking for another stick over there somewhere. Um, that's all we did that. And uh, it's not that strong, but it is up. And we're pretty happy about that. <laughs> Look at that thing. Can you do it? The, can you do it the other way so it's a giant X at the top? Yeah. From like that side. Yeah, there you go. Make our own X. Cool. Okay, so we'll leave it like that. At least it's a, it's a sign that we're we care about their place. All right, guys, I'm gonna click back on when I get back to the rock. We'll do some more filming. We just got here, but uh, we want to get an idea of where they are. We haven't heard much noise except tree knocks when we first came in. So um, once I get back in this way, I will turn the video on. Do you hear that? I think it's a tree. Yeah. It sounds like a whistle, but it's the top of a tree. Some of these trees um, will play like a violin almost. It's starting to get a little chilly up here. I am whispering because this is the beginning of their while. Maybe they're sleeping. I mean, I don't know. Do I think they know I'm here? Yes, but. What if I'm wrong in there? They're, you know, they're drunk and camped out over there and I can walk right up to them. Maybe I will video it. Maybe we'll hang out. Something. He's sitting right here. I mean, there's no doubt about it. This is a seat right here. Comfortable seat, too. Let me get a couple pans here, Dan. I want to see something there.
would not. Do it. Look, bird's right behind you. Dan, he's right behind you. They're following us. There he is, guys. Like always. Where'd he go? There he goes. He's following us. They're together. There's no, hey Dan, take a look at this. There's no way that these trees, people are like, that's deadfall. There, there's no way they all grew there. It's impossible. There's this they do this on purpose, you guys. This is done. On purpose. Look at that fence like five high over there. Yeah, the big fence right there. There's just impossible for this many trees to have fallen here. They, they were, they were step inside dragged that. here. It's amazing. Step inside that for the yeah. for the portal. Let's see what's on the other. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get portaled. Dan does not. No, I don't. <laughs> I gotta go home. <laughs> He's gotta go home. He has like 40 kids. <laughs> Look at that thing all twisted up right there, Dan. That thing is tweaked. Look at that thing. There's no, the thing is very, it's very protected by other trees too. Do you see that? What's that? This other tree right here. Look how bent apart the thing is. Oh wow, twisted. Damn, how do we get through here? We're trying, we're trying to go that way. And there's not, there's no easy way to do it. Ooh, I'm almost thinking about walking on this thing all the way down, look. You walk that? Why not? At least make for a funny video if I fall. Whoa. Something tells you? What tells you? That's like saying, they say. <laughs> they say cigarettes are bad for you. Who's they? Somebody. Hey, there's the birds. Something tells me. I'm not going to get a full HD video of Bigfoot today. What? Not in jail. Well, we're starting to get into the area here. This is going to be yeah, good. Yeah, I think it's going to go that way. Look at this thing. What can God's name happen to that thing? Wasn't an elk <laughs> before? I'm sparing it. the comments on YouTube. An elk couldn't get in here if his life depended on it. I mean, it's just not going to happen. No, no four-legged creature is going to come through here um, unless he absolutely had to. At least, in my opinion. All right, let's let me click off, Dan. Let's go this way. We'll, we'll, we're going to do this. Maybe that Indian one we saw in the picture cloaks him. Guys, check my check my Facebook if you haven't been there. I got some great stills on Facebook. And we recently we just pulled a picture out of the, a dogman picture. We pulled out an Indian, what I think is an Indian lady. <laughs> she comes out perfectly. It's on the Facebook page. Pretty amazing structure, if you ask me. 
keeping the camera on it because a lot of times when I'm filming these structures, I get, I get time stamps behind it. These structures could be more important than I think they are because they always seem to be around them. have seen a lot you haven't seen any of this yet but I mean I, I don't want to keep filming you trees as, as beautiful and cool as they are I want to film you Bigfoot but sometimes I feel like this is the best place to try to film Bigfoot Dan's filming that <laughs> I think it's pretty wild isn't it look at that, look at that. it's like a 15 foot fence look at the room. That's pretty amazing. All right, you want to go back? You want to go to the rock to lighten our load? If we if we go back and just follow this path, we'll yeah, we'll hit it. Yeah, let's get rid of all the stuff and then we'll then we'll go on a hunt. For the new people that are like, hold the camera still. You guys, I'm doing the best I can. I'm not a photographer, okay? I'm a Bigfoot hunter, okay? Researcher, whatever. you can just name me whatever you want, but I find Bigfoot. I don't, I'm not, I have, I have no one here to film this for me, so I have to do it. <coughs> um, so I'm doing the best I can, you guys. So they're starting to get a little bit better. So far, nothing too obvious except for Dan thinks he saw Bigfoot twice. <laughs> but I'm not getting my traditional whistles or anything like that yet. Hey, let's go to the rock. That's when they started last time. Look at this. Because they think they think you're going to leave something. They get all excited. The whistles start coming in. You got to come this way. It, it's unbelievable chaos. It's deadfall. No, these things, most of those things, believe it or not, are not deadfall. They're actually brought there. They might have fell down somewhere else, but they're not from this spot. They cluster this up and they make these incredible things. I, don't, I can't explain it any further than that, you guys. Your guess is as good as mine on the why. You know, I, I, do, I am convinced that a lot of it breaks up their outlines and enables them to hang out very closely to you without you being able to see them. The rest of the reasons. I don't know. Tell you a story. It's up to you. We're gonna believe it. Dan's over there. He's talking about it now on this camera. <laughs> Where is he? He's right there. He's obsessed with the spot because we saw a shadow. We we know we're in the area where they like to cloak. They're always in here and they do these little group huddles. And my own personal belief is that it's not all of them that cloak. I believe there's one of them that can cloak the group. I know it sounds crazy, but they're always in these groups um, and, and they're hiding together. 
and I believe something can put a bubble around them. Uh, I know it's crazy. I'm, I'm like you guys. I don't believe that, in all that stuff. I know a lot of you do believe in that stuff, but it's the only explanation. So anyway, Dan saw a shadow, and then all of a sudden a tree just started moving, like just went doo -doo 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 -doo, like someone had grabbed it with its hand, and there was nothing there. It just disappeared into thin air. So this is what we're dealing with right now. It happened. <laughs> No explanation. So if these things can just disappear like that, it's just going to be really a lot harder than I thought. It's all ahead, believe it or not. So we're going right towards it. I'm sure he'll be gone by the time we get there, Dan. This is where they always are. The reason I whisper when they already know I'm here is so they make noise. We'll be able. The camera will be able to hear it. Look at that X-ray up there. Please tell me where they go, Dan. I mean, that's two, and they're gone. Because I really need you to look at this part of the video. I don't see anything, but they're right here. They just disappear. Literally, they disappear. I'm going just for dark areas today. Dan, look at this log. Check that out, you guys. That's the top. I'm not really shooting structures today, but when you see the bottom off the ground and there's nothing on the ground for it to come out of, it makes an X there. Look, that's the big side of that tree. Looks like it came from right there. But look, look at that tree. Oh, wow. It just happened to be in the middle of a split tree like that? Come on. What? That's, I don't, I can't even explain that. They're right in the middle of a Y tree. Oh yeah, it was two trees and split. A pitchfork split. I know that big guy's over here. today guys because it's starting to get cold up here at night it's in it's in the 30s even even freezing at night now up here 
It's pretty chilly in here now. I'd say it's about 55. Should hit 60 today here. But it's also a little chillier because of all the trees. This looks just like the other one. This one? And this one right here goes up to my I want to know where the jungle gym is. So I know some of you guys have seen that amazing, really huge jungle gym. I know about. Some, I thought I knew. Oh, look at this, Dan! Come over here. Look at this. Look. Look at that artwork. I'm just seeing this, you guys, in the woods. Well, first of all, I got this arch, which is pretty amazing. I know we see a lot of those, but that's they're still cool to see. Stuck in there. And then check this out. Look at that. Look what I'm seeing through the woods, you guys. That is amazing. You see that? Whenever I do this, you guys always tell me something's behind it in the woods. So I'm taking a little extra time on the structures or behind the structures. This is all set up. You see that? Look at that. There's just trees put together. They make these fences and you know, it's just really hard to understand why. I find that one fascinating. I'm gonna have to go over there. We're already getting off the track. This is not the way we wanted to come right now. So I'm looking in the trees even if I don't see anything. Oh, another one too. Look at the size of that one. Whoa, dude. Is that a cow? What is that? Human? <laughs> it, looks human. It, it does look like it's no, human. No, that's a cow. It's a cow. Maybe. Baby. Well, that's why I'm filming it because I'm not going to carry them. Maybe someone will notice. Whatever it is was big. What do you think? Yeah, that's like a baby cow. It almost seems like it could have been a natural thing because I don't see any marks at all on the bones. And I found teeth marks and other bones here. It's probably scavenged. Yeah, because I don't, where's the rest of it? Oh, that's cool. Look, there's another one. Oh yeah, look, it was an elk or it was a moose. Check it out, guys. Look. Is that an antler? Yeah, you're right, yeah. A moose got got pummeled in here by something. And, and it's amazing because look. Go figure. Yeah, where are the big racks? There's an X right next to a dead moose. And the racks are missing. There's a piece of one. If you guys can see there's bones everywhere. There's, spine over here. Well, there's part of his spine. Right there. There's his jawbone. Well, I'm relieved it's not a human being. <laughs> That's for sure. How's, how do you get so scattered? Is he being dragged by something? Different uh, scattered, yeah. probably different shit stuff over the. Let's over fucking time. take this shit down at the bone though. Looks like bone marrow hunting, huh? I wonder what happened to his. Uh, I don't know, of whatever it was, he got fucked up. And right in the middle of these, uh, you're on YouTube right now, Dan. Right on the uh, Dan Hurst. Sorry. Little children now have to leave the room. And it's amazing, it's we're in a new place, you guys are actually leaving the area, but we're clearly still in Bigfoot land here. I think we're about a mile away from where we usually go. But you can see, I mean, there's clearly activity here. 
I'm going to say, I'm going to go out on a limb, no pun intended, and say that Bigfoot ate a moose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I'm not even kidding. I'm being totally serious here. Nope. Whatever Dan's going to say, nope. Whatever Dan says, nope. Only believe me. What do you want to say, Dan? Probably could be an elk or a horse. An elf? Elk. Oh, an elk, yeah. Well, whatever it was, I believe Bigfoot ate it. Because it's just randomly dead right here in, in between all these X's and stuff. Please. Bigfoot did it. It is relatively scattered everywhere. I'm going with Bigfoot, which means multiple people were on it. You know, there, all 10 of them were on there ripping pieces apart, running away from the other one. I don't know, it is odd to see, like, all the buildings and there's these scattered. There's probably maybe some scavenger up here. Just well, I'm sure when they, whatever the, the main predator was done, yeah, other things come in. Birds. Yeah, because there's three spirals. Big crows will do that, too. They'll pick up a piece, fly it away. 10 yeah, feet and land. It looked like a moose by the antler. Another oh, little X right there. So I'm convinced with seeing six X's right here. And it, and it looks like a little wild in area that they had a little meal there at some point a long time ago. And then you got this bend conveniently right there. Tell me, tell me when you walk through right here, it doesn't get freezing cold. I'm like, I am not even kidding. I just got, it, it changes temperature from where you are right now to here. Weird. Isn't that different? You must be getting close to the ridge. Getting close to the goats. Ghosts, not the goats, the ghosts. There. Right, I think we need to descend. What do you think? We need to keep going left. I don't know how to do that. Pretty cool, because I have not been here before. This is on the way low side. There, uh, as I'm walking through this, just give me a break while I walk on here. One sec. Oh, fuck, my knee's hurting. I didn't curse. I mean, they really don't want you coming up this hill. You see this, you guys? This is just unbelievable. You gotta be here. I wish every one of you guys would just come out here. And look at this. <laughs> it's just, what I'm trying to do, we're actually working our way back to the car. Um, I'm trying to find that huge jungle gym. I wanna film it from the bottom side. And, cause we're supposed to, I got a bunch of stills pictures from that and I wanna, Go to the side that everyone sees them on. This is amazing. Place back there. See that?
see how that bends right there. I can't really zoom him. Hold it on up here. I lost Dan. He just kept walking. There's an X. Doing some more structures, guys, just because I'd like to film them if I haven't been there yet. I typically won't refilm any of the old ones too much if I can avoid it. But if it's new, I want to document. I mean, I want to see it. And since not much is going on, we don't have whistles. Wow, look at that X. Sorry, I'm, you guys, I'm balancing. Um, look at that one. There's just tons of activity right here on the hill. And this all leads up. See those fences? It all leads up to their main place where I always film them, which is where I want to be right now. <laughs> and somehow it's not working out. We walked through there quickly earlier. I'd like to go in one more time. If I have time. It's getting later and this would be a better time to get some get some footage. Wow. Okay, that's pretty interesting. I saw a really cool structure, I want to show you. But look at that, that's the big end of the tree. And that thing is 30, 20, 30 feet in the air. See that? And there's the small end down there. There's no way that happened by accident. All right, now check this out. This is amazing, you guys. It's like a little like, world in here. It's almost like a house in here. Dan's missing this one. Now check that out. Tell me that happened by accident. Go ahead, tell me. Okay, not only that, but this one here is being, this one is being, is the one holding up that entire log. If that was not there, that would fall. Especially with all the other weight on top of it, that would just fall right down. I think that, and you can see again, there's the big end. Oh, Dan's missing out. What a cool area. This is like a real hangout in here, you guys. All right, let me click off find Dan. Okay, I set up trail cams. I wasn't going to. I decided to do it anyway. They're facing each other. I don't want them to keep going off with me, but there's the other one right here. And it's facing that one. I think it's a really good spot. And it's a spot I can find again. We had a great day. I don't know why I whisper. Sometimes I whisper because it's because I want to hear noise. for a week I still have a full battery so on <clears throat> both of them so if they haven't left for the winter I mean I don't know what these guys do you guys this is my first season of having a place like this so what but I, we, we have just we determined today that there are structures here that are older there are structures here that are brand new it, it just tells us they've been here a long time the question is do they come and go do they leave for the winter <laughs> you know some of these things I've seen up here have no you know, clothes on the top. Um, I just can't imagine that they're, they're that comfortable in the middle of the night here at 20 below zero. Well, not 20 below, but you know what I mean. Probably wind chill factor on a couple nights. All right, so Dan's wondering where I am. I've been gone for a while. He's at the totem pole. I think I'll turn it off. Let's, we fixed the totem pole, I'm pretty sure. That'll be on this video already, but um, I want to 
like uh, now after this the whole day I want to go back. We, we've really walked a lot today. I mean, it was, it was awesome. We went everywhere, found new places, new stuff. Look at this trail. I mean, it, it goes. Let's do that. So yeah, pretty cool in here though. So yeah, a lot of today is gonna be us looking around. I don't know what's in the videos yet. We didn't hear a lot of stuff, but that doesn't mean anything really, because in fact, we got some of the best videos on those days. That's pretty wild. Um, this place, I'll tell you, it's just endless. the place that all the structures I know it may sound crazy but just in theory all of these structures can be seen perfectly from space if you go in there you can't see anything in here even this stuff I just make some kind of funky design from up if you look down on it and all these spidering things and stuff like that especially these these you know just hypothetically you could see these from aircraft I found them on Google Earth the totem pole. I don't see Danny. must be already walking to the car. He's 10 minutes ahead of me then. Totem pole is back up. That's great. That's kind of cool. See what they do with that. So that looks good. Oh, look, Dave put those apples on like a month ago, maybe more. A month and a half ago, and they're actually still in good shape. Never touched them. They don't seem to like to mess with string or rope. Aside from popular belief. Look at that thing I spent and being held under there. It's just so quiet. I mean, when I say quiet, not like they're looking at me quiet, almost like they're not here quiet. Getting depressed. I haven't heard a whistle or nothing all day. Nothing that, like a couple things far away, but that could have been a million different things.
Mm. We did all those sticks. This is our structure. We'll see if they like it or if they mess with it. They'll definitely know, that's for sure. I don't know how long it's going to hold though. You guys check this out from the car. This is a this is my gonna be my new spot. Me and Dan's new spot. Dan steals all my spots. <laughs> he wants part of them. That's an X. It's actually a beautiful, awesome X, but you, it's hard to see through the not too low. I mean it's right there. There's another one right there too. Pretty wild. Right from the road. Huh. Oh, that's a big X though, man. It really is. There's another there's a bunch of stuff up there. Man, we gotta go up there. I think that's a good call. Yes, they've marked the, the sides for trees, but past that, it's really good up there. I've never filmed. I could actually film one from the car, from right here. Yeah, you should it, do that. It'd be easier because I'm actually moving. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, they're in there too. Look at that. <laughs> 